Shalom everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for our second daily reading. Actually, uh, depending on what channel you're watching, I believe I'm uploading this uh, to my other channel as the first daily reading there. So it'll be <laughs> first and second, uh, depending on what channel you're watching this video on. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. I've actually tried to do this reading already and deleted it. <laughs> Sometimes that happens with me. Welcome back if you're returning and um, all that good stuff. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Whether you're celebrating a birthday or anniversary or not, I hope it's fantastic for all of us. Who wants to be down and out and gloomy and uh, I'm tired of dealing with those kind of energies. By God, we've got the power within to tell that kind of stuff to go away. And we look at it and deal with it to the best we can in our moment. So, Divine, what do you want to say to the collective that have clicked upon this video? Thank you. So we've got the Hierophant. Okay, in this deck it's called the High Priest. So we have a High Priestess and we have the High Priest, which is the Hierophant. A higher power. This is not a person. This is high arcana. This would represent the heavens, okay? This is um, connected to Venus energy. It's very grounded down to earth energy. It goes back to anything from hospitals to your marriages or any kind of organization, uh, tradition, um, your morality, ethics, okay, being spiritual, practical, teachers, mentors, people of high regard, the high priest is coming out here. Uh, very big energy, okay, can be stubborn energy as well in the negative if you are dealing with mentors and teachers and have to go to somebody for some type of counseling or something like that, then, you know, that energy is here, showing itself here. What else do you want to say, Divine? You could be dealing with getting married or getting divorced or people around you who are or are thinking of, you know, being one or the other. Um, what, what do you want to say about this high priest here? This hierophant energy divine. Maybe bank loans as well. Love and money situations coming out here with the hierophant. There's a change. Five is also about grace. Somebody's finding grace in a situation on your job or in a relationship or in a spiritual organization of some kind or any kind of governments. Governments can go back to the higher fit energy. This is society itself coming out. It's huge. A big higher power. What do you want to talk about to us about this? Divine, help me to interpret this message. What do we need to know about it? Okay, so we had the Seven of Pentacles in the past. Something was, you know, negotiated, waited upon, and then harvested from in that uh, real physical place that you found yourself harvesting something that you put in the ground. Health situations. Seven's about truth. In the right now moment, we have either a defeat or hidden agendas or unbridled ambition or divorces or something's going on here. Uh, another five here. The fives are conflict numbers, okay? Uh, we got the Empress. So the Empress showed, her, showed herself in my first reading this morning. This is balancing out the scales. This is mothers. This is also, you know, Venus coming out huge here. Uh childbirth we've got she's got big old thing of fruit in her hands because she's very fruitful something fruitful in the future is taking place okay there could be like i said if you're going through divorces and things like that or having baby mama issues or parental issues or something in your past took place in the near future there's some kind of balancing out the scales or projects or help in in something there's legal matters showing itself here the divine suggestion is to work on something okay be very methodical in what you're doing get focused put the hard work in on a situation uh something that is physical and um material here with the pentacles the hierophant overall energy is 
would go back to earth energy. It's Taurus energy. Okay, that energy likes the finer things of, of, in life and the high vibration of that. It's very slow moving, very, um, very gentle energy with this energy as well. Uh, in the upright, it can be stubborn in the negative. Obviously, something's happening here with this hidden agendas and defeat and conflict or self-sabotaging energy within some type of organization or society or work or marriage or something's taking place that was negotiated in the past and harvested from but the, all it did was brought some type of a change in conflict here in the now moment in the future though there is bouncing the scales and the divine says to do something with pentacles work on something labor do some this is laboring if you're having a baby child support stuff as well is coming out here so in the environment is the angel holding back the boar, the mean boar that will chomp through anything with these hidden agendas. Okay, so if you are dealing with marital things, because we have law out here, obviously the angels are here to help stop this mean ass thing from boring through a situation that's already been happening. Okay, somebody's defeated though because the angels come in and said, I don't think so anymore. Something's taking place here. There's strength in the environment of a situation. The divine says to work on something. Physically do something here with these eight of pentacles. We'll take another card on that. In the heart space, now I've seen the seven swords in my very first reading today that I deleted and I spoke about it in my first reading on one of my channels <laughs> that it was the first reading on. Uh, this is deceit or guiltiness or strategizing something. It's the seven of swords. It's a babbler. It's something's obviously happening here. Okay, there's obviously law out here. There's fighting and mean energy and things that are causing people to either have to have strength or need strength or did get strength. Putting the work in on something. This person's like writing something. Like in the heart, it's guilty or it needs to speak of a truth because there's deception that's been here or somebody's lied to themselves how they felt about somebody who looks as marriage material or their empress or somebody who's full of projects or who is fruitful in some way shape or form the empress represents somebody of beauty okay uh, somebody you know is obviously in the heart really thinking about something that was said or done or wasn't said or done or there's lies and deception here justice huge my god coming out with the empress and with the, all of this is empress energies every bit of it there's law out here there's some type of judgment truth karmic activity okay so Let's just go another round here. Show me this five of swords in the right now moment. Okay. Holding back. Okay. The miser. The greedy one. Okay. Somebody was greedy for gain. Had hidden agendas. Was not opening up the chest of their heart or was stocking things away in a literal chest. Money. Okay. We got pentacles here. The divine says do something about the pentacles or the health or the physical labor or your apprenticeship or whatever this is putting the work in on something in the right now moment somebody's really either self-sabotaging because they're not opening up okay because something really boorish is here that's hurtful and mean and that's why somebody shut down or somebody is pissed off because somebody did steal something or cause somebody to have to be shut down because of stupid fighting and carrying on and mean energy because that's nasty energy. Okay, it could be a female that's nothing but a demon herself. Okay, and the angels have to come down here and shut that thing up. Okay, whatever this fighting is, whatever this hoarding and greed and lack of opening up is or has been. There is strength here. The angels are here to help something. There's a higher power showing itself. And the divine says to do physical work or do something. Put your work in on whatever your truth is. Gain your... Look, we have the higher arcana of the eight and the lower... 
eight here showing itself. And I know it's in different positions, but I take everything from my readings. There's been prejudice stuff going on here. And 88 is a prejudice. It's also a tower. And somebody's supposed to put some work in on something, rebuilding something, putting a judgment in the near future. And the outcome is the judgment that is going to be put on by the heavens. Whether you choose to do it or not, the divine's coming in here with a higher power to say, I'm putting a judgment on something. Okay? Something that's been really hard and and really greedy uh, attached to the energy that is surrounding the situation with other people with these agendas with this mean ass boar there's a judgment being the divine's going to take care of it there's in the in the heart and in the mind there is knowledge about the lies and the deception and the deceit and the guiltiness somebody's guilty there's a trial here there's a trial here. Show me this strength card. Show me this strength card. Somebody thought that they were going to get away with stealing some type of money and being greedy with it. We got bank systems showing up here. Really big. Okay, really, really big. Show me this strength card. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There's the devil. <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff here with the strength card. I'm only going to take what I'm seeing here. I see the devil card. Obviously, something's rude. I see the seven of wands, somebody standing up. So they having the strength because the angels are here, okay? Something's over. There's the ten of swords. We've seen that in my first reading. Okay, today's date will break to a 15 or a 6. So you have people who are supposed to be in your life, and then you've got those karmic relationships that are only there for your testing. And somebody's obviously is passing the test because the angels are here to, to shut this bore up. Okay, this rob bore, this lies and deception, this greed, this hidden agendas. There's big time law here, okay, in the atmosphere or in the environment. Something is totally over. May even be a death, okay, because this energy can be a death card. And the devil wants to still kill and destroy, but somebody's standing in their truth, okay, because the angels are here to help something, put it in the work, okay. There's, there has been death. There's a rebirth. But that's also death energy. Secrets coming to the surface. Show me the justice card. Show me this justice card. What are these lies and deceits about? This justice and the seven of swords. Okay. <laughs> the card is going everywhere. Well, that's a law card. The knight in shining armor. There's some, some type of apology in the outcome. We've got incarceration in somebody really in their mind and a deception, but the oppression is going to be let down. The Ten of Wands. Now, the ten, the Eight of Swords came out in my first reading. I spoke about that in that initial reading that I did upload on my other channel for the first reading, and it did show itself, okay? Somebody's been under a lot of oppression here, okay? A lot. A lot of back-talking stuff, a lot of deception, okay? There's reconciliation or there's truth. There's a promise here as well. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a rainbow here. There's some type of beautiful outcome that's coming. There's love coming. There's law coming to even out the scales. There's a higher power at play here. Something's over. Somebody's going to jail. Both of those cards. Actually, we've got three. One, two, three, four cards in the outcome that suggest jail. Every one of those can go back to the law and to jail. Thank you for your service, those of you who are in the upright. That's a lot in the outcome, but something's definitely suggesting that something's over and done. There's truth here, big time coming out here. There's also, you know, those of you who are not dealing with legal matters, somebody has been lying to themselves about how they feel in their heart. They've been holding back. They've been self-sabotaging something here. Okay, they've been caught up in karmic activity and blocking something. Okay, because of other people and soulmates that have been around them that have been backstabbing with their speaking. But the angels are here to help hold something back. The divine says to put some work in on something. Okay, what's in the heart is writing a letter for some of you all and talking about the deception that you had. Okay, because somebody is somebody's... Uh, looks at somebody as they're beautiful inside and out something's also like i said in the first video has been stretched to the limit okay there's been a lot of oppression here a lot of oppression going on here um let's show me the empress here in the very near future with this outcome because obviously there's huge law coming out huge something's completely over 
it's death. Yes, something's over transformed. Look at this law card coming out also at the bottom of the deck. The Six of Pentacles also has the, <laughs> the scales of justice within it. Amazing. We get the scales of justice three times out here. Not including all the other law that I pointed out. And we've got secret investigative law coming out with the death card as well. Okay. Um, there's been dark magic stuff as well taking place. But we've got generosity and people evening out the scales in the situation here. That's going on. That's been real devilish. It's in the environment. But thank God for the angels to say I don't think so. You bore. It's nasty energy. But it's over. Shows it here. It's in the environment of being over. And it is the outcome. Gel. The wheel turning. Okay. That's not the wheel of fortune. But it is. It is. It's connected to Jupiter. Something's over. Okay. The cycle's over. We've got the tent of wands itself. It's over. Somebody's really had a lot of back pressure issues. In a very bad way. Okay. In the back. Sharp pain. Not just words that have been spoken, but literally having to carry a burden that has inflamed the back. Okay? I don't know if you've ever had to deal with that, but it really freaking sucks for one thing. We have hospitals here, though. Something's over. And there's truth, and I like that. So, um, let me take... An oracle card. So if you're in the up and up, there's real karmic activity here that will play out for something positive for you and I. Because this is about integrity. Both of those, the Jupiter and um, Venus energy, that is about integrity with that law coming out. There's reconciliation here as well, which is positive. There's a complete transformation. Somebody's dying. Okay, really suggesting that somebody who's been real karmic is dying. That came out on another reading that I did the other day. It came out on a reading that I tried to do this morning, and I think it was on that reading that I deleted. It came out. So it's still coming out, and the divine wants to say something. He's going to mean what he says, and he's going to confirm it. Okay, so we do have crossing bridges, and somebody's going to cross over as well. Uh, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. That's what the death card is. We also have navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Okay, follow the he this healing energy out here. Uh, crossing the bridges, though. It's time to um, heal some things. we got stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Somebody's had to stay strong. We have street card here. You have to stay strong with all this crap. Look at this energy. Every bit of it in the in the environment. The ten of swords. Back talking. The devil. Very karmic, uh, toxic energy. Uh, the seven of wands. Blocking. So, like I said, that boar is being calm down by the angels because that's beyond us okay because of this hard this hard energy coming out here somebody does need to go to jail for all that crap okay huge organization stuff though that's been going on deception bad this horrible reading at the same time it is going to end up in truth it's very karmic what's taking place here. It's over. We've got too much law out here. Thank you for your service. All right, guys. Um, those of you who are dealing with people who have crossed over in the, you know, in death, I send you love and light. It's been a battle for that person, obviously. Um, but there are people that are also reconciling things and crossing over a bridge because it's time for healing. It's time to mend some things together and to release some things, okay? And some people really had some hard grudges that they've held on to, okay? You won't release it. The devil energy come and take you out, okay? Then you open yourself up to being, you know, still kill and destroy is what the devil wants. And somebody is going to be destroyed if they don't face the truth because uh, the divine's coming in. Lord of Karma is here. Coming to end something in the very near future to bounce out them scales for that battle because it's been hard and it's been unfair. Somebody's been lying, cheating, still. It's been unfair. And those unfair people don't get to win in the end. The divine gets the last say. Shalom.